When I first bought my bike, I had a big number plate like this. This is my original number plate I had on Jelly Bean. Here you go, pretty big. And then I ordered a smaller one because they look way cooler like this. So if you compare both, you see the difference in size. It looks amazing. Like the bike with a number plate like this looks really great. Um, it's small, the curves of the bike are there. So it, it looks fantastic. You're gonna ask yourself, why on earth am I holding my number plate? Well, it's because I've got good news. Finally, my number plates are changed. My bike, Jelly Bean, is officially Spanish now. I've got all the paperwork, I've got the Spanish number plate, I put it on the bike. That was actually a fun story. So I, I had my COVID uh, vaccine on a Friday, Friday evening, and the next morning I woke up and I felt miserable. I felt so bad and I spent the whole day mostly sleeping. I was just knocked out. And then in the evening, um, around 8 p.m., <laughs> I was like, I need to do something. So I decided to go to the garage to change the number plate to the new one, to my Spanish number plate. Usually when you have a number plate like this one, the glue to the back of the bike. The way to remove it is to actually take a wire and then cut with the wire through it, um, through the back, getting the glue out of there, which is like, a, it's kind of a, a double-sided Gorilla Tape. And I didn't have a wire, I had a cutter. So I went there and started cutting with a cutter, you know, which is um, quite some work. And as things happen, when you're doing something with a tool you're not supposed to do, and <laughs> you don't feel great because you just had a vaccination, I cut myself with a cutter pretty, pretty bad. Um, I can show you. So that's the cut. Um, it's kind of brutal because I don't feel anything on my finger here. It's like my finger is not my finger there. Anyway, so I cut my finger pretty bad, so I had to dress the wound, clean it, and so on and so forth. And then I went and basically bought the wire and get, got everything sorted. I, I meant to record it, I didn't record it. Um, which leads me to this other thing. Why haven't I been recording in such a long time? And the honest truth is every time I went on my bike and I wanted to do something and I didn't have my cameras with me, like the GoPros on the helmet or on the bike or my ZV-1 in, in the pocket, I'd feel guilty. And that ended up annoying me a lot. I didn't want to feel guilty. I wanted to enjoy it. I wanted to enjoy recording. I wanted to enjoy sharing with you. And I went through this weird loop of um, guilt and I didn't want to deal with that. So I stopped recording. I stopped recording for a while and enjoying life in general here in Madrid, which has been really fantastic. I mean, being with friends and people you know. It's a great little pit stop in, in your travels. At the beginning, I was invited to, to stay at some friend's home and they hosted me for weeks. And it reached a point where I was like, I can't do this, you know. They, I'm, I'm there living with them. They want me there, but I don't know. You know, it's like, I, if I had a guest for such a long time, it wouldn't end up well. And so I started thinking where to travel next. And with the whole COVID situation, I saw that A, traveling is relatively complicated right now. You can do it. There's, I mean, of course it's possible. There's no, I mean, I'm vaccinated so I can travel, but traveling is a real nuisance right now. And Airbnbs in Spain, generally speaking, needing Wi-Fi and a garage for the bike are quite expensive, like really expensive, um, depending on the city and so on, but they are not cheap. So uh, I started looking for apartments in Madrid to see what the prices were and if I could have 
a shortlet, like not for a year or so, something like six months. And I found this apartment that I'm in right now and I'm gonna stay here for six months. So probably I'm gonna leave around February, maybe March. I'm, I'm not entirely sure because the contract, um, I can stay here for 10 months if I want, but I can leave after six months. So we'll figure that out. I think the cutting point is or the decision-making point will be around the six months mark of living here. And then I'll, I'll, I'll just decide. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a little bit colder, the colder months. So I might go back to the south of Spain or south of Portugal. I really don't know yet, but I'm going to postpone that for a while. I've got news coming as well, I'm going to work on the channel. Uh, I've planned a few videos that I'm going to record. I still got the Distinguished Gentleman Right video that I need to post. I've been dragging the editing of that video forever, like forever. It's crazy and I'm not sure what to do with that video. I'm probably, you know, just going to add a lot of music to it and have a nice video about um, the ride. Um, the problem with that video is I didn't record too much talking and whatever I said wasn't even great. So when I was trying to edit it, I struggled finding a storyline that I could follow, which has made editing that video really, really hard. But I'm most likely going to still do it. Let's hope I do it soon. But I have a few videos lined up that I still need to record about different things about the bike, news about equipment, and I'm gonna do another packing video that uh, I've done before because on the 4th of September, I'm leaving Madrid to go on a, a little 12 day ride with a friend of mine, Gigi. And you might remember, I talked about this in a video when I was in Malaga. Let me go back to that video and show you. Gigi still owes me riding to Sardinia. So Gigi, this one is for you. 2021 Sardinia, what is going on? So yes, finally, <laughs> Gigi and I are riding to Sardinia, spending a few days there. The overall plan for the moment, because it's still fuzzy, we still got 16 days to go. We're gonna meet somewhere in France, probably around Marseille, on the 5th, I guess. And then from there, riding down the coast to then take a ferry and go over to Sardinia, where we will spend the majority of our trip. And in Sardinia, I'm going to keep on recording. I'm planning to record the trip as two, two different types of videos. So the, the general idea is to vlog about it, like what's happening and so on, so that you can follow um, that nice holiday with me. But I also have an idea and I'm not sure if I'm gonna pull it off or not of making like a little longer feature videos about the trip, which, you know, might be longer, like I don't know how long, but it will be longer. If you wanna continue watching my adventures and how I travel the world living off of the back of my motorcycle, although I'm stopped for six months, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.